Hello and welcome back to CS38 Racing and we are here to review the Ride 5 Born DLC pack. Okay, so this one is a bit of a whopper. We've got we've got bikes added. We've got one, two, three, four, five bikes added and one track added as well. Quite a good pack this one. So we have a BMW 1000RR Racing Modified 2023 version. We have a Ducati. 1299 Super Legra from 2017. We have a Honda CBR 600 RR HRC from 2021. We also have the racing modified version of that bike as well. And we also have this beautiful bike on screen, the MV Augusta Brutale 1000 RR racing modified. Now this is a pretty mean looking thing. I mean, we've got the SC pipe there sticking out nice and nice and juicy sound should be coming from that. Then we've got this beautifully detailed bike with the fluoro yellow. We've even got the winglets here on the naked bike, so that's pretty interesting as well. Let's take a bit of a walk around with that one. Walk around, so we've even got the winglets. We've got winglets. So there is no doubt that this thing looks mean. This thing looks mean. In this case, not green, but fluoro yellow and ready to race and eat its competitors up for breakfast. Oh, look at that, even the tail unit there. The tail unit is very nice, sort of this cut through here. Excellent. So then we also have the BMW M1000RR as well. We should have the racing modified version of that yep so that's a very cool one i really like the bmws go top rack this year in uh, world superbikes so hopefully you can make this work for him we've also got the honda cbr 600 rr street version here's a custom livery that i've made up based on the mie honda in world supersport and then we also have the race modified version of that bike as well. So that is an excellent addition there. So let's start out with the MV Augusta and let's take it around the new track that's been added. So the new track that's been added. So let's take it down to the new track. Now this new track has a few variations. We've got the International Motorcycle Circuit, International Circuit, no, it looks exactly the same. What's the difference between that? Ah, oh, it's a little kink. And a club circuit as well. So let's do the international motorcycle circuit. Okay, so we're starting from the back of the grid here. Well, it has a very sweet sound to it. Some of the riders broke quite, would break quite early there. Oh, look at the rear. Whoa, we had a bit of a head shake there. Don't really know where the braking point is there, so just kind of going off where the AI are braking and just sort of uh, shadowing their their braking markers. Whoa, we got some heavy braking here. Oh, lucky I slammed on the brakes when I did. I managed to ride around the outside of that rider there. Speaking more to the handling, whoop, more to the handling of the bike. Handles very well. Just got a little bit of a penalty there. He 
admittedly it does feel a little bit twitchy but it is very explosive power and the rear does twitch around a bit But hey, it's a very powerful bike and I think it's a really nice, really nice looking bike. Oh, oh, I forgot about this corner. Let's see if slamming on the brakes has managed. Okay, we did manage to make it work there. So the brakes work really well. We've got another MV there, same color as us. Not in the leathers, he's got very bright green leathers. Oh, we're out a little bit wide. The circuit does feel a little bit tight for bigger bikes. But maybe for something like the 600s, this would be a perfect track. This is coming up to that section where I always forget to brake. We manage to get through there quite neatly. Okay, we're going to come across the line here for third overall, or second, second overall, my bad. Okay, now we're going to do a time trial on the BMW race modified around the bike circuit, and that's how we can test out this bike. Alright, so let's test this bike out around this circuit. This is personally one of my favourite bikes. And that's why I'm really excited that Top Rack's on a BMW this year. I think he has the potential to bring the bike all the way to the front. Not that it hasn't had the potential with other riders, I'm just meaning that Toprak is hungry for change, wants a challenge, and I think Aprilia, uh, Aprilia. I think BMW is a great start. Who knows, maybe with the regulations and capacity changes coming into GP, maybe BMW could enter. 
and let's see if Toprak could enter GP with BMW. Who knows? So I would give this a CS38 Racing 10 out of 10 as it's such a beautiful bike, it handles so well. Be able to get the mechs out of it and that's a perfect lap here with the BMW. Alright, so let's take this Ducati out and test it. If you like this livery, go and download it. It's a CS38 Racing design as well. did well to have to avoid a lot of the pack there. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're deep, we're deep, we're deep, we're deep, we're deep. We managed to avoid most of the riders there. SP Honda has a bit better acceleration there than us. Oh, okay, I had to sit up there because I would have run into... Ugh. Kind of get stuck on them. Okay, let's take this back out and see what it can do. Had quite a bit of wheel spin there. Someone's down at the start. Whoa, we've had to take a, whoa, a lot of avoiding action. Back of the RCV 213V, I think that's what that one's called. We've got a battle at the top five here, which seems to be mainly Hondas. got in the way of our line there. So overall this bike still feels very stable in the braking. A lot more stable than the V4 under acceleration on the rear, which is just sort of a personal preference for me and my riding style. And it seems to be quite quick. Of course, with the Ducati, straight line speed is always... a major... Um, would you say advantage or... Strength, strength. It's a major strength of the Ducati is to always be fast in a straight line. As we can see with their progression in MotoGP over the years.
So overall, it's actually quite a... Well, it, if, with all the turns, it feels like a relatively long track, but there's some really fast sections of the track, and then there's also some really tight and technical parts of the track. As well as some really flowing. So overall, I think this is a pretty good track to add to the game. I'm not too sure if uh, this is a real Italian track or not. I'm not too up to date with uh, anything outside of the MotoGP or World Superbike calendars. So any of our Italian fans, comment down below if this is a real track. And if so, have you ever done a track day there? Have you ever ridden there? Have you ever watched a race there? What's it like? Still kind of disappointed that Philip Island isn't added to the game, this game, anyway, we've got it in ride four. Ooh, I forgot to break here. Break, 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 break. Ooh, we're deep there. So overall, I'd give this a CS38 rating of... I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I like it. Okay, now let's do the race modified Honda around the short circuit for a time trial. Let's see how it goes. And then we've got one more bike left to go, the street version of this. And we're going to do that in a race format. Okay, so we're here with the race version of the 600. We've got the short circuit here. Well, that's a long, continuous set of left corners. We're a bit deep there. But this handles pretty well as well. I'd give this a CS38 racing rating of about 8 out of 10. I feel it's a little bit understeery, but... It's definitely a good bike to have, particularly for 600cc race modified championships. There we go, we're able to make a bit cleaner a lap there. And that rounds that one out. Alright, so back of the grid challenge here. That guy ran into the back of us there. Ooh, 
Oh, getting barge from behind there. This club circuit certainly makes it a tight little venue. Oh, stuck a little bit to the inside there. Able to just sneak up on the inside here. Oh, bit bit of late braking there. Can we make a dive up the inside. Yes, we can. Make this line work for us here. Get into the slipstream. Just gonna outbreak. There we go. So again, this handles very well. It's probably just a slight bit less strong in the handling than the race modified version. hasn't exactly got the pickup of the race version either. But overall, it's a fun package to, to ride with. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Alright guys, so that rounds it up for this video. Let us know what you think in the comments. What's your favourite bike of this pack? Do you enjoy this track? Is it a favourite of yours? Anyway, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to hit the heck out of that subscribe button. And ensure that you watch out, check out the other videos if you've enjoyed this one. There's lots of other videos here. There's MotoGP 23 gameplay. There's lots of different things. Anyway, stay safe. Have fun. See you guys on the next one. Bye.